Hi viewers, got some bad uh, bad news today. Um, went ahead and ran up to you pull it yesterday to grab a caliper and some uh, brake pads because I heard some squeaking. And uh, I was messing with the oil filter adapter kit that I put on this truck and had it sitting down and I quickly threw it back up in underneath there and I didn't really check any of the lines. I didn't mess with any of the lines, but I think me moving it caused my issue. So on my way back from you pull it, I went ahead and uh, was just driving normal, obviously. And all of a sudden I had a massive amount of power loss. And I thought it was something electrical because I was having some electrical issues lately, especially after the rain. And uh, it was actually um, the oil line popped off of the adapter kit and it spewed oil all over the place. Now the problem that I had with this is I didn't notice it because the truck does not have a dummy oil light on it. It's just a pressure gauge. So it had pressure until it was completely out of oil. And it losing all that massive amount of power was actually the piston seizing up inside. I got it to start one time and got it up the street a little bit further and that's when I realized that it was completely out of oil. and couldn't get it to crank over after that so had a friend that lives close by pull the truck back to my house um, last night I went ahead and took the all the uh, belts off of it and tried to hand crank it that didn't work went ahead and pulled the spark plugs out to see if maybe lower compression would help me out and that also didn't work so then I dumped oil into each cylinder hoping that maybe I could get it to break loose. Didn't work. So this morning I went ahead and cleaned the truck and I put it on Craigslist. It's unfortunate because I really, really, really love this truck. But, you know, I have to cut my losses at this point in time because it's going to need a new engine. At least a new bottom end because the bearings probably melted together. That or the pistons did. And, uh... It's, it's really unfortunate. I would have really liked to see this truck in the complete stage that I wanted to see it in with, you know, a cam and some nitrous and maybe a supercharger, who knows. It's a big truck, um, has a lot of damage and it had a lot of parts that needed to be fixed on it. So in the long run, I think it would be better off if I cut my ties with it. <clears throat> Q taps music. So if any of my viewers are looking for a Chevy Silverado, it's 600 bucks. Take it or leave it. It's just really unfortunate because I like this truck. And that's, it's a funny thing is, is because I just got back from, you know, filming on O Street and it did awesome and the line didn't pop off then and I was driving it pretty hard and then I go up to you pull it to fix the truck and it, it takes a crap on me it's really unfortunate but I figured I'd let you guys know what was going on with the Chevy Silverado um, if you guys like this video please hit the subscribe button take care and have a great day